Hey guys, new video here. Uh, some programs and things that new players might find useful. I get asked a lot, what's that thing you're using to check prices? What's that thing you're using to auto whisper? What's that thing you're using that does this, that does that? So we'll go over that in this video. It'll be super quick. Uh, I'll provide all the links down below in the description so you can get access to all these programs. Uh, first and foremost, we've got Auto Hockey. Now, Auto Hockey is not just for PoE. It's kind of like a global thing. Um, you should probably just have it on your computer because it runs um, certain scripts. It can let you edit and like... Um, kind of like rebind things or like have like simple commands for poe so um one common use you might have for it is like let's say that you want to bind something this is my notepad file you want to make a script that um sends a certain action um for tos um things if you're wondering about that it's one server side action um per input so for this uh macro right here i i hit my f12 button which is on my mouse and it sends the one action of slash oos to the server so that when my character is out of sync, they'll be resynced up and you'll know exactly where you are in the map or in the zone. Um, you might say that, like, oh, it's four, um, four inputs, right, per server action. Well, actually, like when you're typing, that's on your client side. So um, sending the, the entire action of the out of sync uh, check is the one action. So there's a little bit of details there. You can use it for things like that. I use it also for things like um, I have dance microtransactions. So I don't want to type out slash dance every time uh, I want to um, have my character do a, do a nice little uh, dance in the hideout or whatever. So you can like bind a key to this if you want. You can do this with like um, hard software for like your mouse and keyboard and stuff. But I just find auto hockey to be easy and then things like um, other commands that I use it for, like, you know, I, I stream, so sometimes if people are spamming you or they're saying some weird stuff, you want to clear the chat. So this is a, a clear chat macro here. Um, so really, really useful uh, in terms of, like, getting just a, a little bit more functionality out of your PoE reader, right? So Auto Hockey is a no-brainer. You should definitely just install it for your PC because you might need it for other games um, and, and other things that are not gaming-related. So just go ahead and make sure you download that. And there's also some dependencies for it. Like, I think some logout macros um, require you to have Auto Hockey, so it's just safe to have. So definitely download that. Next one is going to be um awaken poe trade uh, awaken poe trade is my favorite um trade checker right price checker um so i'm gonna go into game i'm gonna just show you what that looks like real quick okay so let's say um i have these two examples here awaken trade um i have a rusted cartography scare but you don't know how much that costs so i hit Control d and there it is see i can see that it is um there's uh, one there's three of them or five of them for 2c and then all of them are like 3c so if you're completely new and you find something on the ground and let's say you're using like um never sinks filter and it makes like a funny sound or has a cool color you're like ooh, i don't know what that is you can just use this awaken trade and you can see um what the pricing is it does a good job it has some nice little features in there that you can tinker around with um a lot more goes into this but this is just mostly used for um price checking and you can you can check out the web page if you want some more advanced features of it um and for example like rares when you hit Control d it does use a website that tries to get a price prediction but you should never trust this price prediction it's only used as a barometer for like if you're new, you have no idea what's good. And the price prediction, of the, I don't know why it's not loading, but like like this says like 1C, right, Bob? But for me, like I know this isn't worth anything. Um, you can kind of use that where it's like if it's a high number, maybe you price check it yourself or you ask a friend um, to price check it for you, okay? Um, and you can see like this one, you can you can take the boxes for all the uh, the roles and stuff. If I wanted to do this and I want to do like, I care about the item level and then it would search it for you, okay? Um, there's none because I, I take too many boxes, but you kind of get the point. Look at the website for the functionality there. Really, really good. Um, and I believe that this is the fastest uh, trade macro. There's like the default um, trade macro. There is the, um, there's things like, um, what's it called? PoE Companion, uh, PoE Overlay, but you can kind of tinker around with those and see which one you find to be the best. Me and most people who use these um, would default to Awaken PoE Trade. It's the fastest, it's easiest, it's got the best UI, I think, and uh, it has uh, some really nice updates. You know, it, it is updated. This one was uh, as of the uh, league launch for 3.14. So this is a github for it once again i have it below uh in the description okay next Wee lurker so uh besides the trade check campaign i also gonna ask like how do you like auto whisper um how do you like do your like responses automatically how do you invite people automatically and that's all through Wee lurker um this is one of the best programs i've found there's other things i'll go over like mercury trade and there's also things like uh trade companion things if you find that you like one better it's totally fine to use another one but the reason i like uh Wee lurker is because it's very compact okay and it's got a whole host of features so you see right here these two icons in the bottom left someone wants to buy my thing for 10c he wants to buy a um oh 
Oglum Card Gadir. Wants to buy my Ashen Witch for 10C. And then this one, like uh, JPEX, wants to buy my Femurs of the Saints for 17.5C. So the great thing about this is that um, there's a lot of functionality. If I left click this uh, icon, it invites them to the party automatically. Once they get into my hideout, if I click it again, it'll turn green. It will send an auto trade uh, invite to them for them to accept. And then once they finish the accept button, um, it automatically leaves the party. That's fantastic, right? I'll just show you what I mean right here. See, this guy wants to buy my two uh, Ponyx Fragments for 27C. I click once on it and it's invited. So you don't have to like hit like hit enter, right click, uh, you know, invite to party. And then um, now we'll wait while I get my um, fragments. And also, if you if you look right here, if you click on the health bar, it highlights it for you and it, it can do it in any tab. So there it is, right? It's obviously useful in like dumb tabs where you have no idea where anything is. So I take my two fragments and uh, I don't know where the other one is. Uh, oh, there it is. And then I wait for him. So now this is my party. If I click on it, it'll turn green. And look, I don't need to right click his name, trade him. All I do is uh, it, it does it for me. And then uh, I mouse over. Okay, it's correct amount. I hit accept and it auto leaves the party for me. And if you want to get even more complicated, you can go in here. Uh, where is my PB lurker? And you can go into settings and you can see that there are uh, also messages. So I could set it up so that once um once the trade is finished i could have an auto response right i don't i don't have one in here because like you know the automated it's like who, who really cares right it's not really personal you know everyone just has an auto macro so uh like i but i could be like ty or, or t t 4 t right and i save that and then now every time after it counts or after it accepts the trade it'll automatically whisper that guy that you just traded thank you for the trade right if you if you want to do that you can and you can set it up um uh for whatever you want right there's other options here which i will show you in a second here let me go back into the game here so um for example uh in this box you'll see a left corner and a right corner so the top left corner is the busy one right if i click on the blue one it'll it'll tell the person whatever your busy message is oh i'm busy in a map whatever if you click on the top right it just closes it if you control click on this it'll say that it's sold so for example this femur is the saints it's not sold but I, i'm gonna just for this video i'll give you an example i control click on it boom i don't have to you know control cl uh enter type oh uh, uh sorry can you wait or like like sorry um sorry can uh, sorry sold right it saves you so much time and that's why i love the the little um the the little tight you know compactness of this uh of this trade mac or sorry of this um little trade companion thing here okay but i will talk about mercury trade in um in a second here um so that is my uh what i use for the uh the trades now another feature okay this this needs to be mentioned because if i um do another feature and i go to let's see let's see i go to uh the trade site right and i'm just gonna show you real quick let's say you're searching for um uh cosprey's will or something just as an example right and watch this so usually you have to click on the whisper and then control paste it into the game. Well, now you don't have to do it with Pee Wee Lurker. I click on it once, it auto sends it. And everybody knows you're buying commodities, maps, fossils, whatever. Um, you need to spam like 20 people before you get the first whisper. Isn't that crazy? And see, if I say, okay, sorry about this. I have to find it. And then also you can set up your Pee Wee Lurker to additionally have like this button, but for the, the buying side, right? Like right here, what you see is on the selling side, but I could configure something just like this for the selling side. I just haven't done that because I find it kind of annoying. And it clutters up the screen a little bit but you can definitely do that and it's pretty amazing because it will overlay um the exact price you whispered right how many times have you whispered 10 people and it ranges from 2 to 4c and the guy invites you you have no idea who that guy is because it's a different name different party leader and um you forget what the price is so you gotta hit enter you gotta scroll back up but pee -wee lurker can display the pricing that you, the, of the person's hideout you joined right on the health globe super super easy right so pee -wee lurker can't stress that enough okay next path of building you guys probably know this one but this is a community fork make sure that you're always using the community fork because it has more features more details and everyone just uses this one so when you download it it's um it, this is it you guys all know how to use this you can watch videos um you can pretty much find in-depth youtube videos um on each of these things i just mentioned i have some videos on all these things and um it'll go more in depth but this is just like you know because I, I always get asked which ones should i use right so this is just a quick video on which ones that you should download to, to get you started so um, the, one, the one thing I'll say about this is that um, the, the feature that a lot of people don't know of, right? You're, at, you're asking about a build. What build are you playing? What are you using? Etc. Well, one thing you can do is let's say you want to see uh, Empyrean Gaming, right? So I go, I'll type in Empyrean Gaming PoE Profile, right? As an example. Um, if you know someone's uh, account name, you can get any build they're using. So this is MP's, uh, MP's account, right? And his account name is Empyrean Warpgate. So let's say you know the streamer's uh, account that you want to copy. 
then um, a really useful feature is go to click on import and then see this is mine because I like to import my characters obviously but if I type in Empyrean Warp Gate and I start it's going to load up every character on his account and I can go to the Ultimatum League and he only has one character so I know that's the one he's playing right you can obviously very easily tell by the character model what class they are or what level they are and then you can click on it and you're going to click once import click on items and skills and I'm passive trees and jewels that's it and then you're done how easy is that and look now you have the entire build okay look at that everything's here and you don't need to um uh like upload a pastebin code it's just like it's very easy right you can do this to any streamer you want or anyone you know their account name super super easy and uh, it saves you a lot of time and it saves the uh, the streamer a lot of time as well so that's pretty cool there um okay so that's path to building pretty great um the github now this one is Mer mercury trade okay now the reason i want to talk about mercury trade because mercury trade is a uh, substitute for poe lurker the thing that i just showed you in the bottom left here right with these little I icons now why would you use this well mercury trade has a different ui you can kind of see it right here right it has like the single clicks so like one minute thanks no things sold you can um you can invite people right away let me make this a little bit bigger you know you can you can leave the party you know all kinds of cool stuff but mercury trade is cool because like if you want to use it it has a nice ui for a thing called P uh poe uh overlord o overload what is it called uh overseer my bad overseer and so you get a trade uh companion that's like it's good enough not very updated right in my opinion but um it, it does it gets the job done it, it's it's um it's pretty good and people still use it but you get this thing called overseer now i don't use overseer because um even though i have uh i i can tell you guys i have personally emailed grinding gear support about like i think over a year ago and i asked specifically about mercury trade overseer and they said their exact response was that um it's not it's not against tos but they haven't made a decision yet on whether it's uh like long term they're gonna like uh allow it or not right right now it's it's like in a gray area where like you can use it um but just know that in the future you know that that could change because like they don't really you know it's a slippery slope argument right so right now it is within tos but if they change their decision in the future um maybe you'll have to um not use this but i don't i don't find it to be uh, at all um exploitative or um or cheating anyway because it's just a timer right so the way to think about this is uh, imagine you set up a timer on your um computer so you hit the number one or something and a timer ticks down from five seconds right because you want to track your flasks you want to track your uh arc mage you want to track your will grace um what have you, you can track anything you want well, if you don't want to do like a timer hockey, like a W split, right? Um, which which is assigned to a hockey or whatever, you can um, um, you can just use uh, Mercury Overseer, and it creates all these nice little bars. Now, obviously, it's not gonna do all this for you. You need to go in there and create the icon, the like number of seconds, the colors, um, but very customizable. So like um, you could use this to help you out with certain builds. Um, it's really nice for things like. I guess things like, like Plague Bear and Archmage and Flask and all that. So um, usually in game, the application that's the easiest would be like, let's say your Flask lasts, um, let's say most of your Flask lasts six seconds, right? So you can have like a giant bar in the middle of your screen or a nice little icon, maybe like right here where my mouse is. That's like uh, kind of big and it's ticking down from uh, six seconds, five seconds, eight seconds, whatever, whatever you have, right? You can kind of um, find out what your seconds of the duration of the buff that or, or Thing that you want so it's kind of like a weak horse but it's kind of it's kind of scuffed uh i've seen Ty Ty killer use it uh during racing so don't worry about like ooh, am i gonna get in trouble for this right um so it is uh it's pretty cool okay pretty pretty cool try it out if you want to and once again it comes with the uh trade companion okay uh, i might use this later on stream just so i can show people it um but poe lurker i think is overall much much better because it's more compact and, and more features okay <clears throat> next um, so this is like the screenshot of the thing okay next lab compass so if you're like a really new player you have no idea where you're going in lab um you can kind of read over this and this basically um has an in-game overlay um when you upload today's lab that you're doing and it'll kind of tell you where to go okay it's been nerfed a little bit in the past but it still works really well in giving you um a general sense of direction and reminding you of is there a dark shrine here is there like xyz thing here that you might want to pay attention to and that could help you when you're first starting the game because uh well thankfully you 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 young bucks don't have to do original version of lab which took like 45 minutes right you guys have this easy lab and uh now you have like tools that make it way uh way easier and it looks pretty cool right pretty good stuff here so you can try that okay so that's pretty much everything you need um if you get all these things right as a new player okay i'm not gonna talk about like websites you know bookmarking it because that, that's a whole different issue um but these programs are gonna get you started you're gonna be you're gonna not have any issues you know you're not gonna like watch the stream and be like ooh, 
Ooh, I, think, I feel like I'm missing out because I don't have their program. No, these are all the things that you need to get you started. Uh, I, I know it's, it seems like a lot, right? You're like, holy shit, am I installing add-ons on WoW? Um, but it, it's pretty simple, and um, you can you can add or remove things as you see fit. Now, there is one more little thing when if you care more about trade aspect or um, you're really economy focused and you you get you kind of want to like say how you're you're doing against yourself there's a little thing called um it's called uh what's it called excellence next okay i have a complete youtube video um about this in my youtube channel you just go to my youtube and search um search videos for excellence okay and then i have a complete guide on it but basically what it does is um it takes all the tabs you're tracking and it kind of price checks the commodities for you so you know exactly where money is that you might not have otherwise um uh, have right like you might not know that you know maybe a knolls are like a 6c you're like oh i didn't know that or you didn't know that a certain scare was like 20c you're like oh man i got some free monies here pretty good stuff tracks your currency per hour uh tracks uh, all kinds of different metrics it has nice little graphs you can you can export to excel pretty cool check out this website once again link below and um <clears throat> but this is kind of sweaty so although very helpful it, it gets a little bit into the spirit of the game where like you're focusing so much on efficiency that uh, a lot of people don't want to play this way you know overall use these programs if you have fun using these programs use them if you don't have fun using these programs don't use them you know it's uh it's, it's good it's uh it's up to you so that is my video i hope you guys um enjoyed this and if you guys have any questions you can ask below on on the comments but a uh, better way to reach me would be uh just on my twitch stream twitch.tv slash cute dog underscore stream every night about eight o'clock chicago time and i hope to see some of you guys there okay thanks for watching my video guys bye bye